It's Joe Easingwood and the CFAX Newsline on CFAX 1070. A month today, a group of eight members will take a trip beginning here in Victoria across Canada. They will call it really a high-tech camping tour of the country. Joining us in the studio is Norman Schaefer. He owns and uh, operates uh, CheapsTicketsCanada.com, and he's brought his son, Jaden, in. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Um, tell me a little bit about this this idea that, that you had. I mean, it, 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 yes, it's promotion, but it, it, it's rather interesting. Uh, I like the idea. You're going to be using GPS. To, uh, um, you, you have a very interesting camera in here. What gave you the idea for, the, for this tour across the country? Well, uh, we've been talking as a family about uh, seeing a little bit more of our country. We've traveled all around the world. And um, with people talking about the economic crisis, uh, we've been hearing a lot about people wanting to stick closer to home, spend a little bit less. And so we thought we'd combine uh, one, a, a trip of our own with uh, promoting and, and talking about Canada as a destination. And as more, I mean, we're hearing some of the issues, obviously, not only with the, the swine flu outbreak, but of the downturn in the economy in, in some areas that people are planning to stay a little bit more close to the home. Um, uh, do you think that, that this is maybe a, a beginning of a, a bit of a trend? Uh, I think for perhaps the short term, uh, it, at least, we always do find that Canada is one of our top destinations, but I think this year we'll see a little bit more so just given all the news that's been out there. But uh, pe- people are perhaps realizing or hopefully will realize that our own country, uh, as great as many places around the world are, our own country has uh, many things to offer and uh, is an amazing place from coast to coast. When you say you're going to have these gadgets, um, you, you're calling it kind of like a, a high-tech camping trip. You're taking uh, what you're calling camping supplies. You, you yeah. brought the camera, this, this video camera which uh, in themselves look uh, interesting, but this, you say, has a GPS unit inside it? Uh, yeah, it does, yeah. We're going to be taking a motor home uh, as, as our camping uh, vehicle, and uh, we'll have that equipped with the GPS uh, as well as a GPS logger. And then our camera itself will also has a GPS built into it. So uh, wherever we are, it logs the coordinates of the photo and the video, and uh, we will then be uploading those images uh, to an online map. So people don't just li- look at a, a variety of photos, uh, but they'll actually look at a map and pick the area where they want to see the photos. So it, um, it'll add a whole new dimension to uh, those people out there who are more visually based, like myself. I love to mm-hmm. see maps. And uh, so you'll zo- you can zoom in on uh, Vancouver and, and take a look at pictures around Vancouver or or Winnipeg, or, or where else. Which also, I guess, the idea is to help them pl- plan their trip. If they were looking for a similar trip, that they could could use this as, as maybe a bit of a tool. Well, that's the idea, and uh, most people aren't going to uh, take a trip across the country, but they might uh, pick to do a segment of, of what we might be doing. And um, so, uh, you know, they'll be able to just kind of pick a little of one province or mm-hmm. or one city and be able to kind of get some ideas of what to do. As uh, um, I've been planning a trip, and as I've been doing that, I, I've found that definitely um, you, you go to, to Google Maps, for instance, and, and you start to, to go in closer. You can look at the terrain, um, especially if, you, if you're concerned about to access to, for instance, um, bus stops or transportation issues, or, or if I'm going to look at a certain building that I'm going to look at. You can actually go in now on Google Maps and... Uh, and uh, in some of the major cities, anyway, actually take a look at perhaps even the hotel where you're staying, which is kind of a, a benefit. You're going to pick a hotel, you can zoom right in, have a look, and go, eh, I'm not so sure the area is great, or, oh, okay, it seems fine. Yeah, and uh, I think with technology, peop- uh, it's really changed the travel industry a great deal. Um, you know, people are able to to see the topography of a, of a region. They'll be able to get information on uh, people's recommendations on a on a particular destination or a particular hotel, so it, it's really uh, in a kind of empowered people to do a bit more planning, which uh, may be a good or bad thing. I mean, you could literally spend hours and hours and hours uh, planning out a trip now. Is it taken away? Do you think some of the mystique of actually going to a location? Because I mean, you know, I mean, I've just checked out a hotel that that, that I'm going to be staying at in, in the coming weeks, and you know, 
when you get off the plane or or, or drive someone, you, you get out of the car and you look at the air and you go, "Wow, this is this is really great." Now, but is or do you think taken away when you when you go into uh, Google Maps and, and these areas? Well, I, I yeah, I guess it depends on the person. Uh, for some people, they they feel much more comfortable knowing where they're going, and yes, it definitely is a, a different type of travel. For those people who who like to have that uh, little mystery about it, uh, they shouldn't <laughs> mm-hmm. perhaps uh, do too much research. But don't zoom in so close. <laughs> don't zoom in too close. But uh, yeah, and one you know one of the things that we're actually doing with this trip too is we're asking people what their recommendations are. Where should we go? Where should we stop? Great idea. And it's not just for us, but it's also for all those other people that are out there mm-hmm. um, wanting to know because there's so much information. Uh, we're trying to collect uh, you know uh, recommendations on each province uh, from from people just to tell us, hey. What, what's the best place in Manitoba for now, us to go Norman, to? Norman, did you really think this through before you actually got the motorhome and decided all eight of us are going to go across Canada like this? Because, <laughs> um, you know, sometimes it can be a bit tough with two. Uh, well, we uh, did a sample trip last year uh, to Alberta, and that was our first uh, motorhome trip. And everyone made it back alive? We all survived, didn't we, Jaden? Yep. <laughs> Jaden, uh, what are you looking forward to most on this trip? Well, there's a lot of cool attractions. We're going to go to some cool theme parks and, I don't know, just seeing all the different places. So have you laid out your choices already? Yeah. So the whole family's kind of picked a couple of places they would like to see. Yeah, everybody got assigned to, like, a province or something. Oh, really, eh? And your province is? I did Ontario. And let me guess you picked Canada's Wonderland. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm a mom reader. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have a great time there. There's, there's lots more, though, uh, as you go across the country. A lot of people look for the, for the big, tra- um, the big um, uh, attractions. I mean, I think even here on Vancouver, when people come to uh, the Greater Victoria area, they oh, we've got to do Butcher Gardens. But then, mm-hmm. you know, for those of us that have a long time, we, we know, well, actually, maybe you might want to go um, right out to, to the other end of Souk and, and tour some of the parks there, go to the Souk potholes. And I found that when I've taken visitors out there, they've been as as, as impressed with that as they have with, with uh, you know, the traditional, what I would call, tourist attraction. So I guess that's what you're hoping for, that people are going to send you that information. Exactly, and actually that's uh, one of the comments that have come through already on, uh, th- on our British Columbia f- um, uh, commentary from those people on our website is a comparison between Bouchard Gardens and Royal Roads uh, Gardens. And uh, so those are the types of things that we're hoping to to pull out and to highlight, uh, you know, to try to maybe get some of the lesser visited mm-hmm. places uh, on up. And, uh, you know, for example, I didn't know that uh, we have uh, some great fjords in, in Quebec uh, near the Chicoutimi area. So one of our plans is to to stop out that way as well. The trip begins June the 1st, and you'll be yep. back. In, are you flying back or are you driving all the way back? Uh, we'll be uh, uh, coming, driving back as well, and that we'll, we're going to go south of the border for that portion of the trip uh, just so we have a little bit of a different uh, scenery. But our uh, the most amount of time that we're spending is uh, the month and a half that we'll be going across Canada. And if people want to follow your trip, I'm assuming they can go to cheap ticketscanada.com and uh, you have everything laid out there. Yeah, we have some links right there on the page and uh, they'll be able to see where we were the previous day as well. Uh, we'll be uploading as we go along, uh, as long as we um, have uh, some internet connections. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you very much for coming in. Enjoy your trip. I hope you enjoy Canada's Wonderland. Yeah. Yeah, send, take some great pictures. Norman Schaefer and his son Jaden joining us uh, on the phone uh, in the studio here, excuse me, their trip across Canada, high tech, eight of them, starting June the first. If you want to perhaps give them some ideas of where they should visit as they travel across this uh, great country of ours, you can log on to cheaptickets.canada.com.